Haley, wake up already. I'm seriously craving something sweet at the moment. Huh? Do you even know what time it is, Naomi? It's three in the morning. But I'm really in the mood for something sweet. The baby in my belly wants strawberry shortcake. And as her mom, I gotta make it happen. Sorry, but there's no bakery open this early in the morning, okay? I'd settle for a cake from the grocery store. Just make sure it's a strawberry shortcake. Not chocolate or cheesecake. Got it? I'm sorry, Naomi. I'll grab you a cake in the morning. But right now, I really need some sleep. Huh? I was working late all night. And I have another long day ahead of me tomorrow. I seriously need some shut-eye right now. I'm sorry. I'm dead serious here. Your sister-in-law is demanding cake right now. I don't care how tough things have been for you lately. So zip it and go grab me that cake from the nearest store. Then I'm going to ask Jake to go do that for you. He's told me that tomorrow is his day off, so... If he has the day off tomorrow, then he needs to get his sleep right now. So leave him be. There is no reason for you to be waking up my little brother right now. I have asked for you to go and get me that cake. So do it right now. <laughs> There's no way I'm doing that right now. I'm way too sleepy and I just want a few more hours of sleep. Make sure to hurry it up so that my baby isn't kept waiting too long. And if you're not back soon, I might already be asleep again and my baby will starve. And with that cake, can you also get me some orange juice? I'm sorry, Naomi, but have you seen my purse and wallet anywhere recently? This morning when I was at the market, I went to go and pay for the food and my wallet and everything wasn't in my bag. Now that I think about it, last night you were looking through my bag, right? Ah, sorry. <laughs> I totally forgot to give you back your purse and wallet. It's in my room right now. So come and grab it later. Huh? Why are both my purse and wallet in your room right now? I was just wanting to use your credit card a little yesterday. Recently, I've been so stressed out, but after doing some major shopping online, all that stress is gone. Bye-bye. But I'm done buying all the things I wanted, so you can have your things back now. What? You used my credit card to go shopping online for yourself? I did that because the doctor has been telling me to do my best not to get stressed while pregnant with the baby. So thanks to your money, I was able to do just that. <laughs> um... Could you please tell me how much you spent last night? I wasn't really paying attention to how much I was spending, all right? But I got a lot of really expensive makeup, some nice designer clothing, and of course, some things for the baby as well. Ah, and I made sure to buy some really expensive foods. You, you spent quite a bit then, huh? Maybe a couple grand. But this month you should be getting a bonus, so you don't have to worry. I should be worried about all of that. Please pay me back for all of the things you bought on my credit card later. Huh? Why do I have to pay you back for all the things that were paid for on your credit card? I would have just used all my own credit cards had I known you would want me to pay you back. What? So you actually think I'm going to pay for all of that? Well, of course I do. <laughs> I mean, you are my sister-in-law after all, right? You have to be willing to pay for things your older sister wants. I have no idea what you're talking about right now. Do I have to pay for all of your things just because you're my older sister-in-law? You sure do have to pay for me. What are you trying to get at now, Haley? I understand that during pregnancy, it's not good to be stressed out. But if you think buying things online is a good way to remedy your stress, then maybe you should be using your own cards. Naomi, you have that credit card from your husband, right? He told you that you can use it on whatever you need while being back home with your mom and dad, right? What I have in my possession right now is my husband's family's card. In other words, that means that my husband would have to pay for whatever I'm spending. I'm sorry, but I'm not going to throw away all that money my husband has been working so hard for. That's meant for my baby. What? 
But when it comes to using my sister-in-law's money, there's nothing wrong with that, right? I'm above you in this family. Therefore, your money is mine. I can use your credit card on whatever I'd like. <laughs> what? What kind of reasoning is that? Between you and I, neither one of us is above one or the other in this family. You and I are equals since we are both sisters-in-law. You think I'm below you because I'm your little brother's wife? And that you're above me because you're older? And that allows you the right to use my card without my permission? That's not a good enough reason for that. You're really getting on my nerves with all that talking. I wasn't using your money to mess with you in any way, all right? I needed to get rid of the stress I had last night in order to not harm the baby. That's why I used your card. So I have every right to use your card. I came home in order to be treated nicely by all you while I'm pregnant. What? Since I've come all the way back home to my parents' home to have my baby, that means all of you have to be there to support me. And in your case, you are not even related to my family by blood. And also, you're the youngest wife, but you are living in my parents' house as well. So that means you have to be the one to support my needs the most here. And this time to support me, you had to help me get rid of that stress. So you're telling me no matter how much you plan to use my credit card without asking, and no matter how much you ask for my support, and no matter how many times you ask me to go out in the middle of the night to get you food, I can't complain about it? Because I'm not related to this family by blood and because I'm the youngest wife? That's right. <laughs> but I'm sure someone without the experience of carrying a baby would never be able to understand me. Being stressed out during a pregnancy is some of the worst feelings you'll ever have. <laughs> now I've gotten a little bit sleepy. So I'm going to take a small nap. Good luck at work today, okay, Haley? I have had it with her, Jake. Go and talk to her right now, Jake. Huh? What's happened this time, Haley? I have been telling you about her this whole time, right? About how your sister has been treating me in such a terrible way, and her attitudes towards me just grinds my gears. She doesn't give two craps about how I feel about any of this and keeps going on and on and on with all of that. Today she even told me that she used my credit card last night and spent a couple of grand on it without my permission. That is way too much money. Wait, are you serious? And when I complained about it, she started to go on about how she did it in order to reduce her stress. And then she explained that since I'm the youngest wife in the family, she can do whatever she wants with me. I am not going to sit around any longer and let her keep doing things like that to me. Well, listen, listen. Calm down for me, will you? Look, I understand why you're so upset with her right now. But she's having a tough time right now, having to deal with being pregnant. So it's not her fault that she becomes a little bit selfish under all that stress. You call that a little bit selfish? She never tells me. Thank you for any of this, even. And now she's gone and almost maxed out one of my credit cards? I had brought all of this up with your mother before, Jake. What? You went to my mom about it. I had assumed that since she raised you, she'd be just as level-headed as you are. And since we are both in the same position being women from other families, she'd understand me more. But when I began to explain to her what was going on, she started to act just like you are right now, telling me that it's not her fault for being a little selfish. Do you guys not see how much your sister is pissing me off right now? I'm being told by not one, but two people in this family that it's not her fault and that I just need to deal with it. But, well, I could see that coming. As of right now, your only option is to put up with Naomi. So both you and your mom think I should just suck it up and let her continue to abuse me? You're telling me that from now on, no matter how ridiculous all the things she does to me are, I'm not to make a sound or raise my hands about it? Well, I'm sorry, Jake, but I've had enough of this. If nobody is going to be on my side during all of this, then I have an idea. I'm asking you to please calm down for me. 
I see that you've had a lot of stress dealing with my sister, and it has pushed you pretty far. But you're taking things way overboard now. Huh? Who cares that she used your credit card a little bit? It helped her get rid of some of the stress she had, so who cares, right? That means that a couple of grand of yours she spent was to help the baby stay safe. I think two grand is totally worth it to ensure that the baby comes out happy and healthy. What did you just say? And when it comes to being pushed to your limits like you are right now, that's the perfect time to grow into an even better person, right? I'd read about something like that in this self-improvement book I bought just a while back. So I think you just have to keep with it, and you'll come out of this a better Haley. Are you being serious with me right now? Your wife is having the worst time of her life right now, and you've only got that to say to me? Well, my break time is almost up now, so I'm going to have to get back to work. I'm sure that someday, when you're pregnant, you'll be able to understand how she's feeling. So, until that time, just be quiet. Try your best! Hey, Haley? I heard about you tattling on me to my brother and my mom. You had been telling them about how I'm such a selfish woman who doesn't care about your feelings? I never said that. But I did make it very clear to them that I was tired of being taken advantage of by you all of the time. I understand that you are stressed right now from being pregnant, but you are not going to use that as your reason for treating me like I'm some kind of slave to this family. Wow. Why are you being such a witch right now? Are you not going to help out your sister-in-law? Even though she is going through so much pain, having to carry this baby, and you got my mom and brother involved in all this now? Well, beware that even though I went and talked to them about this, neither one of them seemed to care. So that was a total waste of time for me. No matter how much I tried expressing my concerns to them, they both told me to shut up and deal with it. So it seems nobody is really that worried about me. And that was totally right of them. I mean, this is my family's house, right? Not your family's house. No matter how much stress you're having, my family will always care for me first. I just got a message from Jake a little bit ago saying for me not to worry about what you're saying and to do as I please with you. Is that right? And even my mom has been saying the same things to me. <laughs> Which means from now on, with the power of my family backing me up, I'm going to use you as the slave you are to all of us. I'm the daughter of this family. And all you are is my little brother's stupid wife. So you are going to shut the hell up and you are going to be the slave I've always wanted you to be. <laughs> and if you ever try going against me and tattling like that again, I'm going to have my brother divorce you. We've already divorced though. What? So, that would mean I can go ahead and ignore you now. I no longer have to be your slave. And I'm free to do as I please now. And as for the money you stole from me, I'm getting it back from Jake. I really don't care how much you think I'm being a total witch right now, because I am no longer a part of your family and have nothing to do with you. What? Wait a second, please. What do you mean by, you're already divorced from Jake? When the hell did you and him get a divorce? I just got divorced from him only a second ago. I asked my work if I could take the rest of the day off. Then I made a sprint over to the courthouse and handed in the divorce paperwork I had. Huh? Just a few seconds ago? I have recently been carrying those divorce forms with me every day to work. And of course, I made sure that your brother was aware of that as well. So please, don't think that I did all of this without him knowing, because he was the one to fill out and sign his parts. But, but why have you been holding on to divorce paperwork that both you and Jake signed? Huh? Does this mean that for a while now, you both have been at arms with each other? I never knew about any of it. But you both have been talking about divorce for a while then? Before you came back to your parents' house, he and I had a very healthy and loving relationship. There was never a time that he and I brought up getting a divorce. But for the longest time, I have held on to a copy of our divorce papers, signed and ready to be handed in. When he and I moved into his parents' house, he and I signed them. Huh? When you moved in with my parents? Your father had passed away, 
and your mother was left to live alone, right? Well, your brother said that as her son, he wanted to live with her long term. He even begged me to stay in this house longer with your mother and got in his hands and knees to do so. But in the end, it was too much anxiety for me to want to live with your mom long term. It was all right when your father was around, but she was by herself. But to convince me that I would be completely fine living here long term, he signed a divorce form and told me to do the same, saying that he would make sure my life in this house with your mother and he would never make me want to get a divorce. He told me that the signed paperwork was meant to show me that I could trust him and to act as sort of an incentive for him to keep being a good husband. What? So after seeing him hand me the paperwork, I had no choice but to say yes. And he showed me he really wanted my trust to live in this house longer. But seeing him now, I think he's totally forgotten about the divorce papers he signed. Because recently, I have really wanted to divorce him. He told me back when he handed me these papers that he'd never make me want one. But here we are. So you've handed in those papers already, right? So you've really gone ahead and ended the relationship you and he had? Yes, because I don't need a man in my life who forgets how to take care of his wife. And so, because of that, I no longer need to listen to you. I will no longer listen to your selfish crap any longer. So keep it coming and waste that time. I'm no longer listening and your excuse of being pregnant isn't going to gain you any leverage anymore. You really think you can talk back to me like that now, do you? I'm a bit surprised that you've already divorced Jake. But it has nothing to do with me. If anything, having you get the hell out of the house now will put my stress level at zero. <laughs> if you've really gone and divorced him, then get going and leave my parents' house. <laughs> What's that? I'm not going to be leaving this house. After all, your parents' house is now mine. What? Wait, what the hell did you just say? There's no way this house is all yours now. It belongs to my mom now. Well, if you didn't already know this, recently my name was put on this house. Both the house and the land are under my name now. So, in other words, this place is mine. Huh? What do you mean your name is on it now? My mom got both the house and the land from my father when he passed away. So why the hell do you think you have your name on all of it? Well, your mom happened to change the name on both the house and the land to me. What? My, my mom did that? It wasn't just your brother that changed after you came home to have the baby. Your mom used to be very kind to me and saw me as her real daughter. But the moment you came back home, she changed for the worse, like Jake. And now she's just like you, asking that I shut up and do all that you ask me for. Um... But before you came back, your mother had put my name on this house. She told me that things like the taxes and payments on the house were too much for her to deal with and asked that I handle them. And in order to have that kind of force into it, she changed the name on the place to mine. What? Are you for real? So that means with this divorce, all you need is to get out of my house. So you all better get together and start gathering your things before I have you all out of this place. Because starting today, that house is now mine. The rest of you no longer have the right to live there. Hey, hey, hey! Haley, you're lying about handing in those divorce papers, right? I just got a random call from my sister who seemed to be very freaked out by you saying something like that to her. That has to be some kind of misunderstanding here. Or at the very least, a joke? When it comes to the divorce paperwork, I really did hand them in. It was the same papers that I've held on to this whole time. So starting today, you and I are no longer a couple. Wait, what? Wait a minute. Why'd you hand in those papers like that all of a sudden? You thought this was out of nowhere? I told you earlier that I'd been approaching my limit with everything, right? But as soon as I kept coming to you for help, Every time you grow closer and closer to your mom and sister, you seem to not care anymore about the way I felt. 
And I could see that that wasn't going to change. So that's why I got this divorce. What the hell? You handed in our divorce papers just because you were mad with my sister? And you're going to say the divorce was justified because I didn't care about your feelings. We're not freaking kids anymore. You can't say things like that as your reasoning. Are you a freaking idiot or something? Why would you use that as a reason for ending the love that we both have with one another? The only idiot here is you, Jake. I was begging for your help and yet you ignored all of my pleas. So don't blame me for wanting a divorce after seeing you leave my side. You need to be blaming yourself for doing things that led me to want a divorce. But, but that was because my sister's pregnant right now. I have to think about the baby she has and all the pain she has to go through. Well, if you happen to care about her and the baby more than your own wife, I'm glad we got this divorce. Now you can focus all of your attention on her and the baby and never have to worry about how I'm doing. I think we should both be happy about the divorce. What? Now, by the end of the day, I'd like to have all of your things together and be ready to leave the house. I'm going to start the night somewhere else tonight so that I don't have to come home to you all crying and whining. When I'm back home tomorrow, one of you better not be still in the house, alright? Hold on a second, please, Haley. I actually didn't know your name was put on the house either by my mom. Can you please at least give my mom back the house and the land? I'll accept the divorce, but please don't take the house. It's not yours to have. No way, Jake. I don't have to give you anything back. Huh? I'm not as nice of a person as you think. If you were a better husband to me, then maybe I would be giving you the house and land back. But you weren't. So I'm going to meet you at your level. I'm going to keep the place. Are you kidding me? Then this means we'll really have to leave the house? My sister is supposed to be having a baby next month. My mom is turning 60 years old this year. I'm not going to care about what happens to those that never bothered to care about what happened to me. Now that's all I have to say. Since this is my first divorce, I think I'm going to have something nice to eat for dinner. As a celebration, <laughs> Haley, please, help me, please. Do something about this situation right now. What was that? Why are you still talking to me? I'm just about to get back to my house here. I'm sure you've all gathered your things up and are out of the house right and now i finally have a place for myself again and can stretch my arms and legs out right now we've all gone back to my house we realized that i was no longer going to be able to stay there after what you said and came back here and of course i made sure to bring both jake and my mom here as well okay so you're all back at your house now but this house isn't big enough to allow my brother and mom to live here as well I asked them to please go somewhere for the night and stay. But they won't leave me, and they keep blaming me for all this happening to them. So now they're forcing themselves to stay the night here, even though there's no other bedrooms. But it's true that a lot of this is your fault, right? So just let those two stay with you for a little while. Are you even listening to me? My house does not have the room for them. This place only has two rooms and a kitchen dining area. And very soon here I'm going to be having my baby. But by having everyone in the house with you, you'll have all of the support you need during the last month of your pregnancy. That should make both you and your husband really happy now, right? My husband is not happy about any of this. He's freaking pissed. It's all because you guys that I'm at risk of getting a divorce from him. Really? He was shocked to see me burst through the door with both my mother and brother and all their things. And in a panic, I explained everything that happened to them. And then he replied by saying it was insane of me to think I could threaten you with divorcing you for my brother. And now he doesn't even want to talk to me anymore. The last thing he told me was that he can't see himself raising a kid with me. I think he's only being fair and honest with you. I think any sane person would react the same way he did. This cannot be happening to me. Right now, my husband is getting ready to go back to his parents. And he told me once the baby is born, he's taking it with him. 
He doesn't even want me to have any part in raising it. Well, kids usually take after their parents, and I'm sure it's not healthy for one to take after you. You happen to think it's all right to steal people's money, force them into being your slave, and threaten them with divorce. I think someone like you would be a terrible influence to any baby. But I'm the one that'll be giving birth to it, though. Yet he's going to take away from me the moment it's born? And what makes all of this worse is that neither my mom or brother will be able to meet it. He said the next time we talk will be when he comes to get the baby. Well, then you'd better hurry up and kick your mom and Jake out of the place. But no matter how many times I ask them to leave, they just won't go. They keep saying that they have nowhere left to go and that I'm the one to blame for them getting kicked out of your place. So please, for the love of God, help me, Haley. I have no reason to be helping any of you. Haley, please let me come back into your life and let's become husband and wife again. My mom even said that she wants us back together, so please. I promise to never make you want to divorce me ever again. So please, give me another chance. Oh, there's no way I'm letting you back into my life. Please, don't say that to me. I can't live without you in my life. You'll be alright. You'll be fine. You told me that you just have to stick with it during the hard times, and that after that you'll become a better person, right? You read that book on personal growth already, so I'm sure you can handle things. What? Well, that's all for me. I'll make sure to take great care of your parents' old house, so don't worry. Now have a great time with the rest of your family. Due to all of the stress that Naomi was feeling, she ended up having her baby one month before her due date. In other words, having a premature birth. And just as had been told to her, her husband had came to pick up the baby after a few days in the ICU, being cared for and brought it home to his parents' house. And ever since that day, Naomi has not been able to see her baby. When it comes to both Jake and his mother, they've both still not left Naomi's place. Naomi has tried plenty of times to beg them to both leave her alone, but their only response is asking for her to pay for their new housing. And then they finish their reply by saying it's all her fault, that things ended up the way they did, and that she needed to take responsibility for it from her husband. He later told her that things didn't look like they'd be getting better around here and asked for both of them to get a divorce. So I guess we'll see if this is the end for Naomi and her husband, or if she'll be able to get the money to move her mom and brother out of her place.